Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to know the answer of the question, how do you know how many doors to put in a Lewis door structure? Usually in Lewis door structure, we express valency electrons as dots, right? Look at here, carbon to draw, to find out the number of doors for carbon, I have First, I have to uh, go to the periodic table and you know that after going to periodic table, you have to find out the position of carbon. The position of carbon is in group 4A or 14. Group 4A means if you deduct the, uh, if you deduct the second A, then if you deduct the A, then you will get 4. This means that carbon has 4 dots. Or carbon is a is an element of group 14. So if you detect the first digit, then you will get four. So carbon has four dots. Look at here. We have another way to find out the dots for carbon. We know that the atomic number of carbon is six. So if you do the electronic configuration, then you will get this. Look at here. At first, we have to find out the valency shell. Valency shell is the outermost shell. So here second uh, shell is the outermost shell or valency shell and the electron in valency shell is called valence electron so here we have 2 plus 2 4 so here the principal quantum uh, highest value of principal uh, quantum number is 2 for n equal to 2 we are getting 2 plus 2 that is 4 that is carbon has four dots okay so we can express these four dots like this one dots, two dots, three dots, four dots. If you have to imagine a square around a carbon, right? At first, you have to put one dots. Then if you have more dots, then you can pair up. If you write like this, then this will not be correct. This will be correct. Okay. Let me take another example so that you can understand these things clearly. Look at here. For we know that the atomic number of fluorine is 9. So if you do the electronic configuration, you will get this. Here the highest value of principal quantum number is 2. So this is the valency shell. In valency shell, we have 2 plus 5, that is 7 valence electron. So fluorine has 7 dots. You can put the dots for fluorine like this you have to write the symbol then you have to imagine a square at first you have to put one dots for every side then you have three more dots right so now you can pair up so this means that fluorine can uh, fluorine can uh, make one single bond okay after after making one sing single bond for foreign fluorine can uh, achieve its octet i hope believe and expect that you have understood what i want to say to you i have a blog post in the description box of this video you can read that blog post to get more ideas so thank you for being this video be well